community, it's so good to see you. Pastor Brad here. Uh, and today we're going to kick it Old Testament style, Psalm 103, verse 7 through 12. And we're going to jump right into it. This is what it says. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our inequities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgressions from us. And what a great passage. What, what's awesome about this passage is that the writer just focuses on who God is. And that there's these particular attributes that he has that we are uh, the recipients of, that we have the benefit of, and probably we go through most of our day and most of our lives without really stopping to think about how fortunate we are that we can receive some of these attributes of who God is. So maybe today at the, at the very beginning, let's just acknowledge some of that, that, man, I am a recipient of some of these attributes of God. And as we read the passage, what sticks out to me is how it describes who God is. It says, the Lord is. Right? It's not something that he aspires to be. It's not something that he has to practice like maybe we do on a daily basis. But the Lord is compassion. The Lord is grace. The Lord is love, abounding love. It's something that exists within him already. He doesn't have to work on it. He doesn't have to aspire to be a, a loving God. He is love. And what's wonderful is that no matter where we are on the spectrum, you could be listening to this or watching this, and, and you could be the best Christian there has been for the last 55 years, right? So you never missed a Sunday, serving in three different spots, you know, and, and you're all good. Or you could be a person who just randomly stumbled onto this YouTube video, and you're thinking, what is this crazy person talking about? I have no idea. I don't understand. But it doesn't matter who you are and anyone in between. But you can be a recipient of God's love. You can be a recipient of God's grace, of his compassion. In fact, I don't know if you've ever heard this before, or it's been a long time, you need to be reminded of it, or if you heard it yesterday, but it's just a good thing to hear again. God loves you. God wants to give you his grace. He wants to give you his compassion. He wants to give you his love. And not only is this pas passage about the essence of who God is, but it actually reminds us that he's not stagnant. That in fact, God is always moving and always working and moving, in, moving into spaces that we probably least expect. And it also reminds me that there is no space that God isn't willing to go to meet you. Right? As, as the end of the passage describes, as far as the heavens are above the earth, as, as from the east to the west, that God is willing to chase after you. God is willing to meet you in the places that you least expect. God is willing to meet you in the places that you most expect. So here's my invitation to you. That as you go throughout the day and you experience massive great moments and uh, small moments, the things that are exciting to the mundane, to, to maybe what gets you down or what's difficult, couldn't all of those be a great opportunity to meet with God? Couldn't any of those... Be that moment where all of a sudden you really experience who God is, his grace, his compassion, his love. And I hope you go through the rest of the day being expectant to meet with God in a moment that you probably didn't expect. Because I know God's expected to meet with you. Love you guys. See you soon.